So me, I'm not a football man. You will never hear me talk about football in any of my videos. I'm not a football man. But I actually took the time out to watch the game yesterday because I wanted England to win. And um, from the first five minutes, I promise you, like you could ask my girl, yeah? Me, me and my girl sitting down watching it. I said, Spain's going to win this. Because I could just see, like, Spain were on it. I don't know why England are so shit at football. Why they, well, not, it's not like they're shit. Why they don't win. They're too soft. They're too soft. There's no aggression. Yeah? They're man, they're just floating around the fucking pitch like some little fairies. And if I was on the pitch, <laughs> yeah, I'll be hyped. Yeah? You see that aggression if I was playing football and that. They man, they just float around the pitch like some little fairies and that. So um, yeah, man, that that that's the reason why England didn't win, man. They just they're they're too soft, man. There's no aggression. They were, one of the officials and that. So whoever was standing with Ian Wright and their man there must have said, "Ah, oh, talking about yeah, um, we just need to give them time to you know get used to the pitch and that." Like, what do you mean get used to the pitch? Was your first day on the team? What do you mean get used to the pitch? What are you talking about? You ain't played a hundred games before in your life. Like, yeah, maybe that local youth that's 16, big him up, who I think he turned 17 and that, yeah, he can get used to the pitch. Blood, you lot have been playing, how many games you played, big man, about getting used to the pitch? What, what, what? Are the pitches now longer and wider now? So what are you talking about get used to the pitch? The joke, 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 man mentality. What are you getting used to? You get used to the pitch after one minute. So, but I wanted England to win. Ma. To be fair, I had a I had a feeling. I was like, thinking like, yeah, I think they're gonna win it. But then as soon as I saw them play after five minutes, first five minutes, I'm like, nah. Spain were too aggressive. They were too aggressive, man. But you know what? That is just an accurate depiction of England itself. We're not, we're not aggressive enough. I mean, there's some parts of England that are really aggressive whether it be London or Manchester or Birmingham and that, there's some, or you can go to this pub or, you know what I'm saying, in it. Yeah, there's certain parts, little pockets of places in England that are aggressive. But for the most part, England's mentality is soft. It's fucking soft. Even dumb stuff, like, I still need to react to this video, but I feel like it's too late now. Basically, there was a video of Rishi Sunak. This was months and months ago. I saved it on my phone. It was a video of Rishi Sunak. And I don't know where he was, somewhere like Manchester, he was outside of the, uh, of, of the capital. So he was outside of London somewhere. He got out of this um, Range Rover, or he was getting into a Range Rover, and some local people was booing him. Boo, boo, boo. And I was thinking to myself, only in a country like England could you have the head of state be walking in public and getting mocked and getting dissed. Do you think for one minute, yeah, you could do that in one of them Arab countries. Do you think you could have done that in Uganda when Idi Amin was running the place? Blood, they would cut your fucking head off in the street, blood. Do you think you could have done that when Stalin was, was running Russia or when Hitler was running the place? Do you, you think you could do that in North Korea right now? No way. But in countries like England, you can get away with this in the head of state. Even in Jamaica. Like that, so like we're talking about English police now, yeah. English police are so soft. There was one video, one particular video, even my girl, when I start speaking, my girl's gonna remember, yeah, me speaking about it. There was one video, I don't know, I think the youth was mixed race or something, I could see his hand. Anyway, he's got like five police officers in front of his face. Suck your mum, suck your mum, suck your mum, and suck your mum. He's holding the camera in their face. I think to myself, blood, if this was Jamaica, they would have shot him dead right then and there. You can't disrespect the police in Jamaica. When I was in Jamaica last, in 011, a pregnant woman who was seven months pregnant got shot dead. And I asked myself, what the fuck could a pregnant woman of seven, eight months do to a police officer for their police officer to get out a gun and blam, blam her in her head? The police don't play around. You could, you could not say that in Jamaica. You couldn't. You, no one would think to do that. You'd have to be a madman to, to, to do that. Do you know why? Because the police have a reputation of shooting people dead in Jamaica. Even in America, you couldn't really get away with talking some 
cash money or whatever. Because, you know, <laughs> you'll be on the floor with a gun to your head, boy. America's quite, quite, quite serious. So, sometimes. Some, sometimes. In some aspects, they're serious. In other aspects, they're not. But only in England. Like, England, England is a country where... So the primary religion of England is Christianity, yeah? We can agree. The primary religion of Iraq or Iran or Yemen or whatever is Islam, yeah? The primary religion of this country is Christianity. You can walk around dissing the Son of God in this country. You can walk around with a t-shirt disrespecting the Son of God. You could, you could probably burn the cross in this country, yeah? Uh, out on a public street and nothing will happen to you. Some people might come up to you and speak to you. That's in this country. Yeah, you could disrespect the primary uh, religion of this country. Yeah, this is how you know. Yeah, they're Muslim and they are serious. In England, where the primary religion is not Islam, if you disrespect Islam, they will fuck you up. They will mash you up. Like, if I had to disrespect one of the religions, I know which one I'm gonna do. If if someone said you have to go and do this, I know which one I'm gonna do. Yeah, because I ain't gonna test the other the other side. The man, they will mash you up. You will get it. Just imagine, yeah, someone was disrespecting one of the people in the holy books of Islam. Yeah? Um, imagine walking around with a t-shirt disrespecting, I'm not going to say the person's name, yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. Imagine disrespecting that person. You will have men that are not on this team. You will have men that is a cab driver pulling up in the street, handbrake, yeah, skidding in the street to mash you up and brock you up. And, 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 and we're doing, and that's in a country where, you know, Islam is not the primary religion. It's not the default religion and that. So, in, in, England's a joke, man. England's, obviously, I still love being here now, but it's the mentality. In this country, we've been raised to, if someone hits you, tell the teacher. You get slapped in the face, turn the other cheek and that. No, man. And then that's why more masculine men from other nations can come over here and breed up the fucking place.